Hey ladies, today I'll be showing you guys um how I do my frontal shortcuts. Okay, it was kind of like a um half of an epic fail. <laughs> I say this because halfway through the process, the wig ended up being a bit too big, so I ain't know what to do. You see what I mean. Okay, the frontal I'll be using today is a frontal from one of the vendors that I'm testing out. As you can see, the knots are pretty thin. It comes pre-plugged, which I like. So I don't think I'll have to do too much manipulation on the lace itself. So we'll see. Okay, remember how I said this wig block been with me for three years? So it kind of, I kind of know where to lay my frontal so it can fit based on the little red dot right here because that's where I marked where the ends of my frontal go. Okay, so when I'm um, mixing my lightning powder and my developer, I like to use 20 volume because it's not as harsh on the hair and it also won't turn orange as quickly. Because usually when, when it does, I would have to um, tone the knots with a hair color that's blue based like a HVB because what cancels out orange is blue. As you all can see, it did not turn orange, which I'm satisfied with, because like I said before, if it did, I would have to tone the knots with a hair color that's blue base to the level that it reached, like a level 8 VB. But um, no, I did not plug this. Like I said, it came pre-plugged. 
nicely plucked actually which i'm pretty satisfied with because i like full hairlines so unnecessary plucking is something i don't do little longer than a few minutes later all right y'all so i did not like this not one bit it looked like a hat the wig was too big just looked like a hot mess so i'm just trying to see what to do i don't even know why i'm cutting this some more because that's not even the problem but we'll see Okay, so the way I'm cutting the bang portion, I'm kind of cutting it in a triangle. I'm following along the side and making it go downward so that in the middle when it meets, it forms like a triangle in the front to create layers, if you get what I mean, kind of. So now what I'm doing is I'm kind of cutting it at a 60 slash 90 degree angle 
so that I have more um, layers on the bang area and it also matches the back as you can see. So during this process, I lost two footage, me installing the wig cap and me gluing down the wig. Since I was recording it on my phone, I had a lot of technical difficulties. So do not, please do not drag me. So for the sake of me not cutting my lace, I kind of, um, use an old not so sharp <laughs> trimmers that I had because it's better to be safe than sorry since it's my first time cutting it on the lace so I didn't really know what to expect so I kind of just used something that wasn't sharp enough <laughs> 